Lumber prices have already returned to pre-bubble levels. Therefore, Kathy Wood would have noticed several short-term trends before predicting a crash in commodities. Moreover, ARK Invest ETFs have recovered as she forecasted they would after the corrections she foretold of a few months ago. However, Kathy excels at forecasting longer-term changes. In the 1980s, she recognized the beginnings of the internet well before the dot-com bubble, and she foresaw the development of all five of ARK's innovation platforms. Kathy Wood has returned with one of the most interesting predictions of her whole life. And so, for today's video here, we'll explain how this sector is about to expand by a factor of 130 and how it will set the stage for an explosion in other separate industries. Before we go on, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and bell buttons for more of our future uploads. But without further ado, let's dive in. Introducing new items to replace older ones is not unprecedented, nor is innovation itself. Kathy Wood, an expert in the field of innovation studies, would be able to spot a universal pattern shared by all new and groundbreaking goods. This pattern is the S-curve, the shape of innovative products from when they are released until they obliterate their older, less effective competitors can be visualized as an S-curve, as shown in this graph. When a new product is superior to the old one, growth is low. However, as costs fall and innovations are made, growth speeds up before slowing down again when the new product is no longer better than the old one. S-curves show that early adopters of a product are often the last to see its full potential. For instance, Kathy recognized the Internet's first iteration by investigating niche markets that no other analyst cared about, just like electric vehicles or EVs did a decade ago. New goods always faced skepticism when they first hit the market. Curves are not unique to the United States or society at large, as they have occurred many times before with a telephone, electricity, the internet, air conditioners, dishwashers, and microwaves, among many other things. Kathy, however, believes that this time is different because convergence between innovation platforms is accelerating growth to a new level. Blockchain technology, genome sequencing, robotics, artificial intelligence, and energy storage are the five most promising innovation platforms right now, according to ARK Investment. If you look closely, you'll see that the platforms are merging and new sectors are constantly being added as the older ones are phased out. Genome sequencing, for instance, is converging with AI and robots to replace conventional medical diagnosis. Kathy predicts that cooperation between both industries will hasten the development of both S-curves. However, there is more to the story, as innovation platforms always face skeptics at the outset. Kathy admitted that some equities would inevitably be lost because of communication breakdowns. For example, consider genomics. Most of us aren't genome experts. Therefore, it stands to reason that people see it as our future. To begin, you will soon see how everything fits together. Convergence between and among technologies has been accelerating recently, and the idea of following through the cracks was an early embodiment of this trend. That is creating one S-curve feeding another and an explosion in innovation. For that reason, we find the convergence across those five platforms to be particularly instructive. Current innovation platforms have some overlap with a variety of industries, but Kathy singles out one as being the pinnacle of progress. That segment is autonomous driving. You could be unconvinced of the idea of driveless cars and think it's still decades away from widespread use. It's hardly shocking to see prejudices of the sort, exactly like the beginning of all S-curves. Autonomous driving is worse than human driving, which means there's low progress and a lot of naysayers. By 2030 to 2031, 
the autonomous driving market is expected to be worth $54 billion, up from the initial 2019 forecast of $36 billion. Kathy Wood estimates that by 2025, this sector will generate $7 trillion annually, a 130 times increase from current levels. Why then does she have such faith in her prediction? First of all, autonomous vehicles are merely becoming better and better every month. The initial rapid expansion of S-curves occurs at the point when autonomous vehicles are twice as good as humans. Many people are hesitant about the idea of autonomous vehicles at the outset, but this will change as technology improves. Instead of asking if self-driving cars will ever surpass human capabilities, we should ask how long they will be before they do. While great human driving skills have and have significant weaknesses while autonomous vehicle skills continue to improve, this is analogous to how the internal combustion engine has remained primarily unchanged while electric motors have gradually become cheaper, more efficient, and faster. A near-complete transition to EVs is inevitable. Unfortunately, the timing of the convergence of these three systems into a single autonomous cab network is still being determined. The most efficient and affordable mode of transportation with AI and robotics will be electric vehicles with built-in energy storage. Artificial intelligence will be the driving force behind these driving-free cars. We estimate a 10-year revenue potential of $7 trillion, making it larger than the energy sector. There is still a ton of unrealized potential in that market, even after the recent price increase. With such a sizable opportunity in the market for autonomous driving, many automakers have already started to race to full self-driving. Kathy unsurprisingly considers Tesla to be front-runner in fully autonomous driving. Kathy believes there may be additional winners in different regions, including Asia and Europe. Whether or not other businesses can keep up the pace utilizing LIDAR, which only works for geofence zones, will determine whether or not Tesla can achieve full self-driving in the United States. Meanwhile, companies should invest heavily and forgo short-term earnings to the advantage of these winner-take-most chances. Furthermore, we believe that autonomous taxi networks will ultimately bow down to natural geographic monopolies and those who invest most heavily in the sector. These days, the most successful fields in AI are those that collect data, have experience in robotics and software as a service, and have developed advanced battery technology. Tesla remains the winner in the United States. We're looking into cruise automation from companies like GM's own cruise, Waymo, Google, and others. Our observations lead us to believe that Tesla is still in the running. Now it's not just autonomous driving that's poised for widespread use. On the other hand, there is a single idea about an invention that you must grasp fully. The term escape velocity refers to the speed at which an object must travel to break free of the gravitational pull of a planet or other massive body. In applying this idea to S-curves, Kathy triggered the start of Phase 2 and an S-escape curve's velocity because once Phase 2 has begun, the novel product truly takes flight. The pandemic has propelled many innovative goods to achieve the 10-20% to market share required for escape velocity. Among the many industries that have benefited from the epidemic, electric vehicles and online shopping stand out in Kaki's mind as having seen sales rise more quickly than expected. Due to the seemingly constant arrival of packages, we were shocked to find that internet shopping in the United States accounted for less than 15% of the retail industry's overall revenue. The increase to around 20 in the U.S. can be attributed to the coronavirus. In a year, when sales of gas-powered vehicles dropped by 10%, we believe that sales of electric vehicles would increase by 33% worldwide. That change is happening. Oddly, we never anticipated that COVID would be the cause. We don't expect this trend. People buying extra cars to avoid public transportation to last very long. 
But when that occurred, the transition to electric vehicle speed up, especially in countries like China, subsidizing the purchase of such vehicles. Thus, the coronavirus and Chinese subsidies have forced the escape velocity in electric vehicles earlier than would have otherwise been the case. Autonomous electric cars, artificial intelligence, robotics, and genome sequencing are just a few of the creative platforms causing widespread disruption across a wide range of industries and promising to bring about profound changes to the world. The advent of autonomous vehicles is changing the transportation industry. Similar to how electric vehicles threaten the status quo of the internal combustion engine, artificial intelligence threatens the status quo of fundamental human logic analysis and tasks. Furthermore, genome sequencing threatens established pharmaceutical firms in the same way that robots have to do human work. We can't predict with 100% certainty when these S-curves will erupt. So it's ultimately up to you to make that call. Nothing here should be taken as financial advice. Always conduct your research before making any significant decisions. But other than that, what do you think so far about Kathy Wood's prediction? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed watching this video, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and bell button for more of our technology and stock market related news and updates. This is Tech Tank Titans. See you in our next video.